Sometimes I worry that fans of Daggerfall are just... Loser adults who don't know how to develop new interests. And they've been playing the same thing forever because of their comfort box, okay? The fan base is 32-year-olds who don't know if they can enjoy games anymore, if it's not tripping some sort of nostalgia release valve in the back of their brain, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, the long-standing academic consensus is that fans of Daggerfall are based and definitely not boomers. And it's important to understand why. When boundaries are drawn around your feet, we become desperate to step over them. Think about having your passport confiscated, or about experiencing lockdown. While our worlds might not shrink in practice, the knowledge that we cannot move around makes us feel trapped nonetheless. Even if we don't travel, we want the option to. This formed the meat of the Brexit campaign strategy, which tirelessly highlighted boundaries and limitations of control on immigration, law and trade placed upon the British people by our European neighbours to incentivise a yearning for freedom that ultimately led to the Brexit vote. How many of us have games in our Steam or GOG or whatever libraries that we'll never play, but we just want the freedom to play them? Every handcrafted open world renders definite knowledge of their boundaries to the player. Handcraft it necessarily means linear, completable, limited, a world that revolves around the player, contained by invisible walls that you will want the freedom and option to trespass beyond. The lingering impression is that these games are not fantasy worlds, they're toy towns, theatre sets, dolls houses, and ones that we've been playing since Morrowind and Gothic. Now, a multitude of RPGs have these limited open worlds, and the Elder Scrolls, in its shift from vast and generated to handcrafted, unwittingly dropped what they now need to retain any unique selling point, and one that Daggerfall still has. It seems increasingly clear that the next evolution for open world RPGs is to combine carefully handcrafted content with intelligent generative curation of said content across a vast world boundaries obscured by scale to make the player feel free. A sense of freedom was achieved in Daggerfall by executing this combination, albeit not perfectly, it is 24 years old, and in doing so kept its visible and systemic limits concealed such that players had difficulty mapping the game's boundaries and so did not feel imprisoned. Daggerfall is enduring in many minds as a symbol of gaming freedom and as a somewhat mournful reminder of what the Elder Scrolls could be had Bethesda the vision and skill to build on their original design philosophy. The largely completed Daggerfall Unity brings hope as modders want to add layers of depth across the game's expanse, and Once Lost Games, comprising the team responsible for Daggerfall and Arena's creation, are seeking to create an AI games master to dynamically and intelligently generate narrative content in a vast open world, reclaiming the ethos of the original Elder Scrolls games because apparently no other developers will. And thus the academic consensus stands. Vosh was talking about Pokemon anyway. Thanks for watching, do like and subscribe and follow me at Levethian7 on Twitter. Obviously follow Once Lost Games as they develop Wayward Realms and Daggerfall Unity and everything they do, and get involved with modding and discussions for both projects via the Daggerfall Workshop forums and Once Lost Games Discord.